For these projects, you're going to need some shower curtain rings. For this first project, I'm going to hot glue a little dab and then I'm going to place some twine into the glue and wait for it to cool. Next, I'm going to start looping the twine around the shower curtain ring and I'll just continue doing this until I get it all the way around the entire shower curtain ring and I'm going to pull it tight between each one. Now you could use other materials like ribbon, yarn, anything you want to wrap the shower curtain ring. And don't worry much about this top part because we're gonna be covering it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the end here. And then I'm gonna get my hot glue gun and then just glue that last piece of twine into place and let that cool. Next, I have a bunch of flowers here and I'm just gonna pull one of the heads off like so. So I have more to work with here to make more of these. And I'm just gonna work on spreading this out a little bit. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull our shower curtain ring back. We're gonna get a little bit of hot glue here and we're gonna squeeze it into place. And then we're going to place the flower onto the shower curtain ring like so. And we're gonna wait for that to cool. For this next project, I'm gonna set a shower curtain ring in the middle and I'm gonna kind of line up the rings around the first ring, like so. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of use them as a guide. So I'm gonna start by putting a little hot glue on this first ring here, like so. And then I'm gonna place the ring kind of at a diagonal. Then as that one's cooling, I'm gonna get the next one ready and we kind of repeat the same process. So I'm gonna put a little hot glue on the bottom of this one. And then I'm going to Set it right next to the other one. Next, we're gonna focus on the next level. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some hot glue to the edges here, like so. And then I'm gonna place the next ring and I'll continue doing this around the top level and I'll show you what it looks like. So here is the completed design. You could leave it like this, but I'm gonna be taking it and doing something else with it. Next, I brought my little shower curtain bowl out here and I'm going to be using some bare paint in the color sea glass in the inspiration of summer. For this next project we're going to start with the basic design and we're going to take the four shower curtain rings and we're going to aim to put the clip part in the center. Next you put your hot glue on either side so that the sides can attach. And then from here, again, you could go as big as you want, but we're gonna bring in another set of four and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. So I'm gonna set them up so they're kind of ready. So we're gonna clip them together like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and stick these four together next. So again, placing some glue on either side and then squeezing them together. Now we're gonna let this cool before we move on to the next step. For this rectangle design, I'm gonna use Rust-Oleum metallic gold paint. Now again, you could leave it clear or you can color it. It's really your choice what you wanna do. And I'm kinda of going for a little more of a mirror glass look. So I'm not working hard to coat it so it's solid. I just wanna get it a little bit of gold so that I've got some color. Now that the paint has dried, it's time for the next step. And I have got these two inch little circle mirrors that we're gonna place right on top here. And then we're gonna glue them into place. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some glue and it's gonna hide that little section where the shower curtain rings are. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it here. As I was saying before, you could make this as big as you want. So you right now it's just a little rectangle, but you could make it even bigger. But ultimately you've just created some a lovely design for your wall. So let's go hang it up and see what it looks like. We've created a decorative bowl that can be used anywhere in your home. 
And this lovely decoration can go anywhere and I'm using it to accent my front door. I hope this inspires you to create some shower ring decor of your own. We're gonna start in the bathroom and we're gonna start with under the bathroom cabinet. So I'm gonna remove the towel and the gloves for this one. And here's where you can see the command hook. It's just a stick on towel rod. And what I've got here are just clear shower curtain rings. And you can get these for, you know, 12 for a dollar, either at the dollar store or Walmart. I'm gonna clip those both on to the curtain ring. And then I've just got a grocery bag here and I'm gonna clip the handles into the curtain ring. And what I've given myself here is a garbage bag because sometimes we don't wanna have the garbage can under here. This gives us more space. And sometimes you have a small bathroom and you just don't have room for garbage cans in the space. So this helps you really eliminate that and you can just, it's more space saving. So I've taken the garbage bag off and now I'm just gonna throw a few more clips on here. And so what else could you use these for? Well, maybe you have some spray bottles for cleaning or whatnot, you can hang those on there. So you can put a couple of squirt bottles on there for whatever, maybe your, you, you know, your hairspray or hair products or maybe cleaning products is one option. And just to give you a few other ideas, you can use your hairbrush and you can also stick your hairbrush on here. You just open the clip up, slide that in. Maybe you've got a mirror, so you can put your mirror on the clip and hang that in here. You, maybe you've got a bunch of hair ties, so you can clip your hair ties on there like this. So again, really anything you want to clip, but it's a lot of space saving. For this next project, we're going to be using a tension rod. And sometimes, again, we are limited with space in our bathrooms, whether it's a shower tub or just a shower. There's just sometimes a lack of space of where you want to put your items. So I've measured my tension rod and I'm going to go stick it in here. These work by just twisting them open and then you just want, again, good tension so it'll stay up on its own. So now that I know it's tight enough, I'm going to be using these curtain clips that you can find at the stores. They have a clip on the bottom and they just slide on. So I'm gonna take the tension rod down and you can use as many of these as you want. I'll just give you some examples of some possibilities. So I've slid them on and now I'm gonna place the tension rod in here and you can spread them out like this and then some ideas of things you can put on there or maybe you use shower gloves so you pinch that on there um, maybe you want some cleaning supplies in here which then you can just use a shower curtain ring and hook on um, maybe a sponge for when you're done you want to clip on for cleaning when you 